What's up guys, Aeronius here with another Raid Shadow Legends video, and in today's video I am going to be showcasing the common and uncommon only account, as well as my main free-to-play account. This is also a free-to-play account as well, if you haven't tuned into this type of series, I'm just using commons and uncommons only, so consider subscribing to the channel and watching this series unfold as I get stronger and stronger on my path to victory in taking down end game or at least later game content in the future. So yeah, just hit that subscribe button down below and let's get into the video. So my main topic for today is going to be in the events tab, of course, and that's going to be involving this stupid Revenant's path. Was it even worth it? Do you think it was worth it? I think this one was kind of a bust, to be honest with you, and I just don't think it was that great of a system. I really feel like it was leaned heavily towards people that pay to win the game, and they were just looking to get a dollar or two out of people for this one. And I feel like the Heroes Path events have been getting worse and worse and worse and just more money spent, more money spent, more money spent. Items are further and further and further out of reach. Now, if I'm wrong about this and you guys don't believe me or you just don't want to agree with me rather, leave it in the comments down below. What do you think? Do you think that this event was truly worth it? Now, again, this is a very early game account right here. I'm on day 35 here. And this is how far I've gone on this event. I got a little over 5,000 points. I didn't play every single day, so I probably could have got around maybe 8,000 points or so. But um, I decided to go down the right path here on the right side because I wanted to go for this chicken. So I'm going to go ahead and take this book, this chicken, and then um, I don't have enough now. I have 410. So I can take 50k silver. Meh. Was it really that amazing? On this really low level account, sure, a four star chicken is definitely awesome because now I can possibly upgrade another champion. Nope, I can't, I need more chickens. <laughs> but at the end of it all, I mean, it was nice to get free supplies, free rewards. And uh, I just, I don't know, it wasn't that great. It wasn't that enticing to honestly push and progress further. I did pull a few ancient shards on this account to get those points there that's why i got 5000 but these soul stones are not going to really benefit my account on commons and uncommons only this six star legendary chaos or probably would benefit if i ever get six star legendary gear in the future this would have benefit me the xp barrel five star chicken would have definitely benefit but again i would have only gone down to like here mm, maybe the epic book but again the epic book is not going to benefit me so i figured I'd go down the right path instead. So there's showcasing this account. Again, sub to the channel. Go ahead and watch the series if you're interested in watching me play just commons and uncommons only. Would be very much appreciated. All right, let's get on to the other account, the main free to play. We'll see where I went with the Revenant's path on that account. All right, we're back and we're on the main free to play account. And this is just the erroneous account, the original OG account. 100% free to play anyways uh so let's get to the events here and i actually purposely didn't choose any of these rows to go down to for a reward path i have 12,700 points here we've got eight hours left before the event disappears i did this on purpose because i wanted to take a peek again and of course on my account level i would definitely want five star chicken um but the issue is this and this alone <laughs> is already 15,000. Now, the other issue, the reason why I didn't get that many points is because a lot of the points are based on summoning champions. So an ancient shard is 180 points. That's why I got so many points on my common and uncommon only account. And I only played that account for like one day during the event. Whereas on this account, I didn't pull a single shard. I mean, sacreds are worth 4,500. That's a lot of points, right? I didn't pull a single shard because I am saving up until the 2x ancient shard event for next weekend. Keep in mind, we also have the Pasca rule epic champion. The fragment fusion event is coming up next week as well. Or no, this week, this weekend, not next week. This weekend, we have the 2x ancients and the Hoska rule. 
So, so that's going to be kind of fun to get, right? But I don't know if I want to go for Haskarul on this free-to-play account. Only because, hmm, I don't know if he's going to really benefit my account enough and I would have to build champions around him just to get him to work. Maybe he would be kind of cool with paired with uh, Mithrala to make her resistance even stronger, which would be ridiculous, right? Because that 25% increase in resistance is pretty insane, but I don't know. I'm not sure if I want to go for him yet. Maybe I end up pulling him during the 2x event for Ancient Shards this weekend. Who knows? We also have the event going on for Black Friday and Cyber Week, which they just posted today. So you could get a Prince Kaimar uh, t starting tomorrow until the 23rd Wednesday from Ancient Shards or a Mishinaki. Now I did get lucky. If you guys watched my previous video for the 30 Sacred Shards, I believe it was, I actually pulled a Mishinaki for the Sacred Shard 2X event. And I was hoping that I pulled I forget which champion it was that was the 10x. I don't remember if it was Duchess or if it was a different champion. I'm pretty sure Mishinaki was not the 10x for the event for during the 2x sacred event for the weekend. And I ended up pulling Mishinaki, which I'm, I'm not upset about. I think he's an amazing champion. So I'm pretty excited, actually. But I just wish I ended up pulling the 10x, you know. Oh, it was Theodore. It was for Theodore. So... I mean, Mishinaki, honestly, getting Mishinaki or getting Theodore, it's a win-win, to be honest, but I wouldn't have mind having a Theodore who can absolutely obliterate dungeon content. So, it is what it is. You know, beggars can't be choosers. But anyways, back to this, now that I just went off into a tangent there. So, basically... Huh. We've got 6950... Uh, we've got 50, mm, 2,050, 3,050, 3,350, 5,550, plus an eternal, or an immortal soul stone. So I could go down this path and get this, or I could go for an epic book and get this, or... I could potentially go for, I have to go this way, get a five star legendary chaos or meh, not that great. Hmm. I wish I had enough to go all the way down this way. 950, 2050, 3550, 7050, 13,000. Yeah, I wouldn't even be able to get this five star chicken. Damn, that stinks. But you know what? I'm just going to end up going down the right path because, of course, I just have enough to get this Immortal Soul Stone. And you know what? I'll pop this Immortal Soul Stone too. Might as well. Might as well. I better get something good out of this thing for all my troubles. Oh, I don't have enough! I thought I counted that right. Oh! I can't count, apparently. <laughs> that sucks. This event is trash! Oh my god. That is bull. Oh my god, bro. You know what? Where else can I even go? That's ridiculous. I wouldn't even have enough to get this. Five star. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Oh my god, this is so stupid. Oh, such garbage. So, so stupid. Such a garbage event, dude. Now I gotta go this way. Get the 3,000. Get the five star epic chaos ore, which isn't really that beneficial on my account. Damn! Then I got 270 left over. Not enough. What can I do with my 270? Can I get like a Tootsie Pop or something? Jesus! That's some busha. Roanna's perfect soul. Alright, what do we what can we do? What can we even do? 
Okay, so we can't get an immortal. Let's go. Get on my level. We're pulling. Let's go. Give me something good. Since you couldn't give me that immortal one. Kidding me? Okay, we're just gonna get a bunch of rares. Dude, mortal soul stones are so garbage. So garbage. Meh. Oh. Whoop, 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 whoop. No, 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 don't tell it. Just sell those two. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. What are we gonna get? Come on. Give me a legendary. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? A three star master butcher. And didn't I already get a master butcher? Are you kidding me? Wait a minute. Just stay here, actually. Oh, I've got a one star master butcher. Wow, all that for a three star master butcher. Wow! So amazing, dude. Like, oh man, dude. Like, so great, bro. Wow, dude. Freaking ridiculous, bro. That's gonna. I've just made it into the end game because of that, bro. Oh my god. I'm so good now. Bro, I'm the best now, dude. Oh god, 1500 HP. Oh my god, F fills the champion's turn by 4% now. <sighs> bro, that's broken. It's broken, dude. So freaking sweet. What'd you guys think about the revenant path? The trash path? My goodness gracious. Oh my god. Honestly, I'd rather just go with these, by the way. I would rather just do this and do this and just get soul essence. I'm going to be honest with you because these immortal soul stones are garbage. Okay. So from now on, I'm just going to get essences because soul stones are trash. Okay. So subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.